Okay, excellent. That was Kerry Siggins, and I'm uh, the CEO of um, uh, of, of of a company that um, uh, she she was she was away. She was not able to uh, to speak with us live, but basically uh, she has been able to uh, to give a pre recorded session today with a lot of insights around the ownership mindset. Now we are coming to a close here, and I'm going to. I'm going to wrap up in the next five minutes or so. But uh, before I do that, uh, there's a few things that I wanted to to share with uh, with everyone <clears throat> around um, resilience and about today. And it's a, first of all, it's a tribute to uh, to all the uh, the speakers who were were present with me, who participated with me um, since nine o'clock today in the morning, which was uh, one a.m. Uh, Pacific time. And the time now is uh, 9.30 p.m. in the evening in the UK. So well over 23 speakers and about 20, good 20 hours of, uh, of, of speaking today. So it's been, it's been a marathon, but I have really enjoyed everyone's contribution here. And I've always maintained that this is not about textbook. It was about unique perspectives from everyone. Um, providing their insights, their real life experiences, practical strategies, where you could leverage the textbook, the practical strategies, but everybody has got a unique way of describing obstacles to opportunities. And that's exactly what we experienced today. So um, from my perspective, thank you very much to all the speakers and to our audience who has been really has been here has been very transient. It's very interesting to see how um, our audience across Zoom, but also YouTube, everyone has been logging in and out, um, you know, through the, the sunrise and sunset of, um, you know, the, the global time zone. Um, and we've had well over but 350 people, I think at one point went up to about 400 people. So I appreciate you for, for being with us today. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit more about obstacles to opportunities here. But let me ask you this question: What if I told you that every setback you faced could be the foundation of your next great success? Would you believe me? Well, believe because you've heard a lot of stories today from the different speakers. So one is about unlocking growth through innovation. Now in the world of business, or even in, in, in the personal setting, the only constant is change. But embrace disruption like Tesla, for example, when they did um, about challenging the auto industry with electric cars. Um, innovation isn't just about being different. It's about setting new standards. And every time you face a setback, ask yourself, how can this improve myself or my business? Use disruption as a lever to elevate your offerings. Secondly, create success with grace. Grace in entrepreneurship is about moving forward with positivity and determination. Even when the odds are stacked against you, it's about seeing the gap in that market that everyone else sees as a closed door. Just like Sarah Blakely from Spanx, use your unique perspective to carve out a niche that only you can fill. Or look at diverse niches, depending on what your circumstances build your business on the pillars of diversity, innovation, and resilience. And the third, we've been talking a lot about mindset, the mindset of a resilient leader. And leadership in times of disruption demands more than just a strong will. It requires a growth mindset. Leaders like you, or individuals like you, and me, must see beyond the immediate hurdles and envision what could be. Now, resilience is forged not only in the absence of problems, but through persisting um, or, you know, ensuring that you cultivate this mindset um, on a daily basis. But let it guide you and let it guide your decisions. 
and your strategies. So circle back to all the opening questions that we had, all the challenge that the speakers brought in in each of their sessions. And setbacks can indeed be the foundation of your next success. And you, as you walk out um, of here today from this summit, remember your greatest trials are nothing but hidden triumphs waiting to be uncovered. And let those trials into triumphs together. Okay, so my call to action is stand up, dust, dust off, and see each other challenges. See, see your challenges as stepping stones. And the path to success is paved with those stones of past failures. Start laying your path today. And I'll leave you with a question. Are you ready to transform every no you hear into a not yet? Think of it of changing your 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 language. Remember, the most successful individuals or leaders or entrepreneurs don't just face adversity. They don't just perform. They embrace it, embody and learn from it and use it to climb to heights they never thought possible. Today, I'm grateful to you for being part of this summit and just being with me and being with all the other speakers. They spent a lot of time and effort to come here today as you, uh, as with you, um, audience group. So thank you so much for being with us and God bless. Let the universe be with you. Stay with high positive vibration and we will stay connected. You take care.